everybody. How you doing? It's Guy. We're here at Carney's. Let me tell you something. It's happening here today and yesterday in Cape May. Here's my main man. How you doing, Sal? Good to see you. Sal Ready, he's got the uh, he's got the idea set to make this festival go. Tell us a little bit about what's going on there. Well, we have a jazz festival that we run twice a year. The Cape May Jazz Festival originated uh, about 16 years ago, uh, 1993. And it was actually the, uh, the the dream and the brainstorm of our founders, Carol Stone and Woody Woodley. And I'll tell you something, Carol Stone and Woody, uh, they've been there from day one. They're still on the board. Uh, Carol Stone is our artistic director, and there wouldn't have been a Cape May Jazz Festival if it wasn't for those guys. Now, when, now, how many years you been doing it now? It's going on 16 years. 16 yeah. years. And how many people you think came through? Thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Well, I'll tell you, we were just voted in January. We received the Discover Jersey Arts People's Choice Award for the number one music that festival in the state of New Jersey. The best performance of any organization in the state of New Jersey for the year, which is big. But New Jersey has a lot of things going on. It's a tourist state, you know? This is great. Unbelievable. Yeah. And all because of you. It's not just us. It's not a Kyle and Woody show. It's, it's everybody who participates. I know we did all the work for a while. Uh, Kyle and I did it right out of the house. And we argued and raised our own bus and everything. And finally we hired somebody to come in. And then I started doing PR and she was doing... This is it. This is the result. To their credit, they took this from a, a venue where we had a single venue festival. There were about only 800 people. And over the years, we've grown to the point where we bring in about 17,000 people a year in tourism. That's incredible money. We, uh, we attract such a, an audience that this community uh, realizes at least $3 million a year. Uh, comes profit. into the city. Yeah, comes into the city. We've definitely changed the, the uh, economic envelope of the city. So you're pretty happy with the end result down here, aren't you, Jack? Pretty much, yeah. You know, we keep doing the best we can. We've had some top liners. And we've had some some heavy hitters here. People that I used to read and, 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 and play their records. Right. I was paying them. To come and come. I'm the one that was paying. I right. couldn't believe it. Chuck Manjou. Myra Casales over here. Boy Tyler, Roy Hargo. Uh, um, Hugh oh, 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 oh. Emmanuel, she, was, she had the place packed, we had Ronnie Ben Hope playing. All those big names, Maynard Ferguson, all of them. And you had the young kids up there playing the saxophone? Excellent. Isn't he incredible? The whole band, that whole little band, fantastic. This is know? great. And the kids, as good as they are, I give the, the gentlemen who are the mentors a lot of credit. Because people don't put a lot of time with kids anymore, you know? But these kids been coming down since they were like this, and now they're like this. They're grooving. And, and we got kids in here that's playing today. When they first came, they were like the little ones you saw. Right. And now they come back and they take a venue. I mean, they're professional musicians now. And, and we pay them just like we pay the top line. Alan Weber, who's playing next door. Uh, Alan Weber, he, um, this guy's amazing. He plays two saxophones at the same time, a tenor and an alto. Yeah. When he does that double sax, you have to. But in November, he actually went up on the bar here and started walking the circular bar. This place was rocking. That was fantastic. I mean, that's the first time I ever seen anything like that. How many years you been playing? How many? Oh, I guess about. 50, 40, 40, 45 years. A lot of, there's a lot of good musicians there. There's tremendous musicians there. I, I think what's really neat is that they have this thing that when they all get together on the stage, they just keep coming back and somebody else gets up and plays something else. And that's one thing good about jazz. You really don't have to know the music. I guess if you know the rhythm and you just kick it in, it happens. Right? It takes a tremendous amount of study. It's got to be second nature to it. See, it's got to be like talking and walking. Yeah. Well, what do they do to get a ticket? Where do they have to go? All they have to do is they can call our office, right? Uh, and uh, or they can go to our website, which is www.kmajazz.org. Yeah, Woody's the guy. There he is, and he's looking for to be in the movies. What's the movie called? Well, they're going to do the life of Nelson Mandela. Who looks like? Uh, I want to audition. That's right. incredible. And uh, Clint Eastwood is going to. Uh, producing. I've sent my stuff to him. I never heard anything from him. But I'm going to go out there. Man. If you're listening now, Clint, there he is. Here I am. Right? And here I'll be, brother. You better believe it. I'm We're out of here. All right. <laughs> Thank you.
We're out of here. We're out of here.